the new paint color for 2022 Alfa Romeo Rosso Etna is here, but on a new spec that we have not yet seen before. And it's because of this one thing. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where yes, here at Maserati Alfa Romeo Daytona Beach is the second Rosso Etna Alfa Romeo Stelvio Veloce. Now this is a different spec from the first one we saw. You remember that we saw the first Rosso Etna paint job on the Stelvio Veloce, but it was on the 20 inch wheels. And this is insane looking with the blacked out wheels. We'll see it in just a second. But again, if you guys aren't familiar, Rosso Etna is a new paint color for 2022. And this is only the second one we've seen. We haven't even seen it in a Julia yet. And remember that the Rosso Etna paint color only comes to the States in the Veloce trim levels for the Julia and Stelvio. We don't get it on any of the special models like the Julia GTA and Julia GTA M, one of 500s, or any of the other special models that you guys get over there in Europe. So with that said, this is our only way of seeing it. This is our second way of seeing it. And this is our first time seeing it with these wheel specs on it. So I had to show it off to you guys real quick. It's gonna be a quick one because this car is currently in ship mode. If you guys don't know what ship mode means, well, it just basically is not ready to drive yet. It has to go through all of its PDI. Um, it's just basically from the ship. All right, so with that said, we're just gonna do a spin around of this because it has the same exact interior as the other one, but I wanted to get this on the channel for you guys right away because of the fact that the first one sold instantly and this was not going to be here for long i guarantee you because this spec to me is better than the spec we saw the first time now if you guys haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel because when you subscribe it helps grow the channel and i get more opportunities to get more of these beautiful machines out here to the channel for you guys to see with me here it is guys rosso etna all right this paint looks so good again we saw this paint and it was just it was I mean, I gasped. I, I was blown away by it. A lot of you guys said it's not better than the Rosso Comp, the $2,200 paint of the past. You guys know we do not get that color anymore. So we are here with the upgraded paint for 2022. Even if you want Alpha Rosso, which is just a gloss red, that's $330. Now this paint here is an upcharge as well, which we will see on the sticker. But again, it's not as expensive as Rosso Comp. But that was a tri-coat paint all right this is a metallic paint so there's a difference which is why that cost comes in handy and which is why that paint could be considered one of the best alpha male paints of all time but this comes in second place for me at least you know just seeing it here i'd have to put them you know next to each other like side by side and compare them if we get something that's done in rosso comp i would love to actually get it on the channel for you guys next to this one if possible and maybe we can do a side-by-side -side comparison now guys keep in mind that this is how you're going to see the rosso etna on the stelvio or julia you're going to see it in veloce form so when you get the veloces that means that trim level is going to give you the darked out grill all right for the front skedettos you also have the by xenons which you have on all models there all right you're going to get the dark mirror caps you're going to get the veloce badge as standard with the gloss black window moldings as well. You also have the roof rails and the panoramic roof up there too. All right, so Veloce comes with that stuff, but what it doesn't come with are these wheels. All right, the dark 21 inch aluminum wheels. This is an upgraded option for $1,000. Now this looks so good with the red calipers, which also comes on the Veloce models. But with that said, these wheels really set off the whole mood for the Veloce package. Now the other sport wheels are more of a chrome look or sorry aluminum look with black mix this looks completely different to me versus that so with that said you kind of step back and look at this and you're just like wow that really just sets off the rest of the flavor i mean even your wheel wells your side skirts and a back bumper are also body match for that body match appearance kit for the veloce models so again when you get this rosso and the paint you can only get it on this trim so with that said it's going to look like this in a sense for all models but the difference is going to be your wheels now check it out in the rear all right again veloces black exhaust tips the gloss black diffuser with the more aggressive look in the honeycomb and then you also have up top here your q4 badge because this is an all-wheel drive stelvio badge there 
LED tails, all right, and that body color appearance kit comes to the back as well. You can see the separation to where on the TI model, that would be done in a Vesuvio gray, all right, and on this Sprint model, that would be plastic cladding, all right, so for the Veloce here, you do have the body color. So all that together, again, looks good. I kept the headlights on and had the taillights on as well because I just wanted you to see this just in its glory. Now, right as I said that, the sun came out a little bit, so let's kind of get on the front end of it, see if we can pick up a little bit of that metallic flake, just a tad bit. You can see the sun's trying to peek through the clouds there a little bit. And yeah, it looks good, guys, it looks good. Now, again, this is in ship mode. This hasn't even been through PDI. You see all the stickers on it, it hasn't been detailed. So if I come inside, it's the same stuff that you're used to for the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Um, again, you have the sport setup, sport seats and everything like that with the Vloche. You do have the sunroof that doesn't open right now because it's not set up. I mean, all this stuff is in ship mode, as you guys can see the exclamation mark there. <laughs> so it's, you know, what you're used to again. And this is the same trim setup as the first Rosso Etna Stelvio Veloce we looked at. So if you wanna look, um, you know, a little deeper dive into the interior and everything, you can look at that video as well. Um, but this is what you get on this specific spec here at Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach. We'll go over the sticker in just a minute, but just wanted to show you the inside so you can see all the goodies, like the power shifters, the sport seats, all that good stuff, the aluminum trim. But yeah, look at her shine. That is a beautiful car, wow. Again, super in love with this color. I am happy with how Alfa Romeo just puts out red vehicles like this one. All right, guys, let's look at this Alfa Romeo Stelvio Veloce all-wheel drive price with options. 50,500 to start, but after the optional equipment, you're looking at a total of 57,690. It's pretty high up there, right? You do have a destination of 1595, and that's your fuel consumption, which is a pretty popular topic these days. So just in case you need to know. Now, the optional equipment, Rosso Etna, that exterior paint is $1,200. Then let's talk about the Veloce all-wheel drive package. This is everything you get with it for $1,800. You do have the Active Assist Plus package, 1595 as well. All right, and then those 21 inch, 8.5 inch dark five hole aluminum wheels, an extra $1,000. All right, so basically four options, your paint, your Veloce package, your Active Assist Plus package, which is your driver assistance, and your wheel options. That's it. That makes up a majority of your options there, but it brings to you a beautiful looking machine. Now, go in the middle here. You can see that we do have all of our standard options. All right everything that you're used to for these 2022 models. Now, if you guys need to pause it or slow it down so you guys can see exactly what comes with the Veloce trim standard, make sure you do that because it comes with a lot because this is the top trim level for 2022. All right, then you also get your basic warranty, four years, 50,000 miles, powertrain, four years, 50,000 miles, and roadside assistance. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoy seeing this beautiful 2022 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Veloce and Rosso Etna. Now, with that said, which one do you like the best? Do you like the five hole sport wheels or do you like these dark five hole wheels that are 21 inches versus those wheels? Let me know down in the comments below because those are the base wheels. These are the upgraded wheels. So I want to know which one do you guys like best? And if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. When you give the video a like, it helps get it up in rankings. More people can see it and we have a bigger discussion on this Rosso Etna Alfa Romeo Stelvio for 2022. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, you can always check the links down below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, also my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate a couple of extra dollars to the channel. I appreciate that love and support. Thank you so much, guys. You can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, just in case you guys want some long sleeve shirts, hoodies, you want stickers, coffee mugs, everything Ron's Rise is there. Now, I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, see everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo. It doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.